Good morning, everyone. How are you all? I hope you're all doing wonderfully. Good morning. Um, my name is Kellen Thomas, and as the Dean of the College of Arts and Letters, it is a distinct pleasure and a privilege to welcome you to the College of Arts and Letters Pavilion of the 2020 Stevens Innovation Expo. First, I really want to say that I hope you and all of your families are well, staying safe, and staying healthy. So I see that there are many members of the Cal community that are here, faculty, staff, and students. Uh, but if you are just joining us, the College of Arts and Letters is the academic unit here at Stevens dedicated to interdisciplinary teaching, research, and creative activity in the arts, humanities, and social sciences. And I'm very grateful that all of you have joined us this morning here at the Cal Pavilion, the College Pavilion. Welcome. Uh, I'm very excited for the events that you're going to be uh, participating and experiencing here in the Cal Pavilion. Uh, you're going to have a virtual concert presented by Stevens Music and Technology Program, a virtual conference to showcase senior research across the interdisciplinary social sciences and humanities programs here in the college. And you're going to also be introduced to the virtual art gallery that has been uh, uh, set up uh, for a senior capstone project in the visual arts and technology program. Um, I'm also really pleased to say that the college is well represented at the Expo more broadly. Uh, professors Rob Harari and Alex Wellerstein are going to be speaking uh, from 1.30 to 2 p.m. So check out the agenda and I hope you'll plan to attend those talks and thank you Professors Harari and Wellerstein for um, for your contributions to the Stevens Innovation Expo agenda. I'm really looking forward to that. As you all know, the online nature of this pavilion and the Innovation Expo as a whole has resulted from initiatives to you know, move all of the senior theses and capstone projects online. And this is a response to what has been an absolutely unprecedented time, certainly in my life, I think, in society as a whole. It's been a time of great challenge for everyone, everywhere. I know that many of us here have faced very difficult circumstances recently. And I want you all to know just how proud I am of our college community for having risen to meet these challenges together. Your initiative, your commitment, and your compassion inspires me every day. And it keeps me very optimistic and dedicated to our shared mission. I wanna thank here all of the faculty and staff in the college for your dedication and passion. You are all amazing and it's a true privilege to count you all as my colleagues, thank you. Thank you for your extraordinary work to move all of the teaching and the educational mission of, of our unit online so effectively and to ensure that we have great presentations today. I'd like to thank all the faculty who supervise theses, mentored students, and also who worked so diligently to develop these innovative ways to showcase the work of our fantastic students here today. I'd like to especially thank Dr. Robin Hammerman, the Expo Coordinator for the college. Robin, your efforts have been tireless and you have managed this challenging migration to an online experience and you've done it so wonderfully, so thank you. I think we all should give some silent, there, yeah. Uh, online applause, our virtual applause goes out to you, Rob. Uh, to the students, your work, your dedication, your intelligence, your resiliency has just continued to blow my mind throughout these last two months. Um, I attended the opening of the virtual art gallery last night, for example, and you're gonna see, you're gonna have the opportunity to visit that today. Um, and I've, you know, through my, Four years in this position, I've heard the wonderful talents of the students in the music and tech program and uh, witnessed the fantastic research and scholarship being produced by our undergraduates. And um, I'm just so impressed by you all. Thank you for being so wonderful students of Cal and go Ducks. So um, I'm going to turn over the floor uh, to the senior theses and capstone projects, the living room concert and the virtual conference. 
uh, and then the invitation to visit the art gallery. But first, it's my distinct honor here to announce the recipients of our two student awards for the academic year 19, uh, 2019 and 2020. And then I'll hand over the, I'll hand over the reins. Uh, so our two awards in the College of Arts and Letters are the Joseph Farber Memorial Award and the Fred Frederick and Julia Bissinger Award. The Farber Memorial Prize recognizes a graduating senior majoring in one of the disciplines of the College of Arts and Letters who displays a keen interest in and concern for civil liberties and their importance in preserving and protecting human rights. I'm very pleased to announce that the recipient of this year's Farber Award is Abigail Miola. Congratulations, Abigail. The Bissinger Award recognizes the outstanding Bachelor of Arts student in the College of Arts and Letters. I'm very pleased to announce that this year's recipient of the Bissinger Award is graduating senior Kira Dillon. Kira, congratulations. It's fantastic. Congratulations to you both. And I'm going to yield my time. Please enjoy the College of Arts and Letters Pavilion here at the 2020 Stevens Expo. Yay. Yay, college. <laughs> 